All right, 49ers weekend update. We're still in Healdsburg. A lot of good stuff happened this weekend. Nothing really substantive as far as what, <laughs> what, what affects the 49ers on the field, but we do get to watch Brock Purdy dancing at a silent disco. We also do get to determine who threw the worst first pitch. Debo Samuel or Fred Warner. That's what we're going to watch right now. Debo Samuel and Fred Warner are in a competition to not unseat Brock Purdy as the 49ers starting quarterback. This is ugly. I would have to say that Fred Warner's was a bigger disaster than Debo's game. One more time. Fred Warner's on the left from our vantage point, and somehow his first pitch misses the, the right side batter's box. That's how much he misses by. So these two guys right here are not going to threaten this guy right here for his quarterback job with the 49ers. Other news, George Kittle is rehabbing. This is from the core muscle surgery that he underwent at the Vincera Institute. So he's doing some lateral work. So we have some George Kittle rehab this weekend. And his friends, meanwhile, back in the Bay Area, are throwing out first pitches at Giants games. Now, we do have Mitch Wisnowski with the first punt. This was cool. We don't have the TV footage of that, can't play that, but we do have the footage of Mitch Wisnowski kicking the ball into McCovey Cove. So this was a Giants opening day on Friday. All of this happening on 49ers weekend from Healdsburg. So I got some cool footage from this area. We stopped by a spot with some 49ers fans today, which was cool as well. It is April 7th, so that means that we are just eight days away from the 49ers convening for phase two of the offseason program. Phase two means that the players and the coaches can work on the field together. They can't hold an actual practice but the 49ers can finally start Brock Purdy's second offseason in earnest. It's going to be his first offseason where he's not having to deal with UCL repair. So that's going to be fun. That starts on April 15th. 49ers are in the middle of draft meetings right now, and we can talk about Healdsburg and how beautiful it is here in this part of Northern California. This was the other morning with this team coming out of the pool. Take a look at all these different spots. That's Paul Hobbs Winery. That was one of our first stops. They had some really, really good quail. That's why we took a picture there. Quail, the flank steak. Then Multi Amici over here in Healdsburg. This is the Italian restaurant. They've got some pretty funny names. Chubachi, Dirty Botch, and Son of a Bocci are the champions of the bocce tournament that's from the former restaurant at multi amici it was called campo fina but they held that wall there in perpetuity you're gonna get some really really good pizza at multi amici this this was it's it's right off the town square this was probably the best place that we've eaten at so far now we're gonna be heading to geyserville next before heading back to san francisco tomorrow and we'll see if uh geyserville uh, will have anything that could rival that food wise chateau montelena this is obviously the famous place that won the wine competition against the french in 1976 tritip sandwich from Oak oakville grocery in napa another look at this healdsburg area it's so green right now and then this is where you got ahead Booker Wines in Healdsburg these are 49ers fans and you could actually rent out an airbnb that little white house looking out over the entire valley. John and Diane were our hosts there. There they are. And it was awesome. You, you know, you could talk about these big vineyards in Northern California and all of it's great. Everybody loves going to wine country, but then you could go to a place where you got some personalized treatment. 49ers fans, we met them in Nashville, actually. So this was fun. And then you have a view on this beautiful day. It was a little chilly up here, and then all of a sudden it uh, got a little bit warmer here at the very end. I think it's going to be 80 degrees this week up here in wine country. So this was 49ers update from Healdsburg. That's what we got into this weekend. I'm going to take some questions.
Obviously, the 49ers part of this update for you guys that are joining late, you got Brock Purdy and his new wife, Jenna Purdy, silent disco wing. And it's a good thing this guy's the 49ers quarterback because neither of these two guys right here can throw the ball. Fred Warner and Debo Samuel. I mean, that was that was ugly out on the field at Giants opening day on Friday. Oh, well, we'll watch one more time. See Debo and Fred take the field. I, I still can't believe that Fred Warner, one of the more versatile defenders that we have in the NFL, just can't throw. So you see why he plays defense, and you see why Debo Samuel also is uh, adaptable offensively, but not at that quarterback position. Let's move it over to the 49ers Q&A. It's the slow time of the year, so hopefully you get some food recommendations out of that. Hopefully, oh, well, people are already talking about Russian River. The Russian River in Healdsburg is worth a trip on via motorboat. David, have you done that yet? No, I haven't. I love the Russian River, though. I've, I've swum in the Russian River, but I haven't taken a motorboat down the Russian River. People float down the Russian River. I know that. Andrew liked the pizza. The pizza was good. The team leaders were indeed having fun and happy that uh, they're they're not under center. It's, it's wild. I guess that athletes train for specific purposes, <laughs> and the specific purpose for Fred Warner and Debo Samuel are, are their respective positions, and not, not, not the one that Brock Purdy does. Small wineries are the best and have some great wines. Yes, it was awesome. That, that was just today. That was a little bit earlier today when we got to go up to the hills here in Healdsburg. And talking to John, he's a big, big 49ers fan. They have 49ers season tickets. What do I take of the Garendo tweet that has been taken down about the 49ers plan? They don't plan to draft Isaac Garendo in, in round three. They had a third round grade on him. There's a big, big difference between a reported third round grade on a player and a plan to draft a player in round three. They think Isaac Garendo, who's a cannonball, by the way, this guy, I mean, he's got tremendous burst. If that report is true, I think it was from Tony Pauline, that report is true, then the 49ers believe he's a third round worthy player. It's a lot different than planning to draft him in the third round. I think they had a fourth round grade on Brock Purdy, but they drafted him in the seventh round. So you want to get a player at either the round that you have a grade for him at or later. That's where you think you're getting value, right? So I don't know if that report was true. If it's not, I don't know if somebody's leaking something out of the 49ers building from the scouting side. But if it is true, it is a third round grade on Isaac Garendo. It's not the plan to draft him in the third round. Is WrestleMania today? Kittles at WrestleMania? I don't know. I don't follow wrestling all too religiously. Somebody that was talking about it there. But he was rehabbing a little bit earlier this week. One more look at George Kittle coming back from the, the core muscle injury. Now, the rehab process, probably similar to Charvarius Ward's because Ward underwent the same surgery or very similar surgery at the Vincera Institute. And they were both playing through a lot of pain last year. And now they'll have that repaired. John Lynch underwent a similar surgery back when he was a player, said that it really helped. So those guys toughed it out. And now they are both rehabbing after that core muscle surgery this off season. Have to check out the Alexander Valley. That's what everybody does recommend. It, it's awesome here. Highway 128 is one of the nicest drives that there is in Northern California, but anywhere in the country for that matter, because you're, you're going from here, Healdsburg, and you could cross over to Calistoga, which is where Dick Vermeil is actually from. Greatest show on turf Rams coach, coach the Chiefs as well. He's from Calistoga. He's actually got a tasting room in, in Napa. But anyway, obviously you've got the Sonoma side, you have the Napa side, and then you could cross through the, the hills on some of the most beautiful country roads that, that you'll see. This whole area has a, a character of its own. It's not far from the Bay Area proper, but it, it could feel worlds away at times, that's for sure. Will the 49ers add another arm for camp? That's possible. Shanahan has like going to the four quarterbacks before. I think it's a matter, it's going to be a, a chance situation, right? If they run into somebody in the late rounds or an undrafted free agency that they really like, they'll bring him in. If that's the draft value play at the time, if not, they're not going to worry about it. 
Eric Gomes saying Sonoma State in all caps. Roner Park. Somebody asked me, what credit card do you use to travel? I could recommend that. The Chase Sapphire Reserve. This is not paid for by Chase, but it's a really good credit card. You get a lot of freebies with it. You can get in on that. Thoughts on Buda Baker being a potential target of the 49ers via trade? Well, they are looking for a safety. So, and you know, Buda Baker is a really versatile player. And Mike was just texting me about Javon Bullard out of Georgia, the safety. Bullard is a really versatile guy as well. And when I think about adaptability at the safety position, I think about the new guys scheming up some plays for the 49ers on the defensive side of the ball. And that is Brandon Staley. And he's run the star position in the past. The star for the Los Angeles Rams was Jalen Ramsey. The star for the Chargers was Derwin James. And that was just a glorified cornerback that was moving around. Now, with, with Ramsey, it was a cornerback. But with the Chargers, it was Derwin James. I think that Brandon Staley is very open to three safety sets and safety adaptability. So when you talk about somebody like Javon Bullard out of Georgia, being a guy that can play inside, outside, roving safety. I think Buda Baker is also a player who is versatile enough to do that. I do know the 49ers are in the market for another safety. However they get him is how Brandon Staley is going to have to decide how to use him. But creativity on the back end is something that the 49ers would absolutely embrace this season. All right, that is the 49ers update from Healdsburg. Ten little ten minute show. Nothing at all has happened as far as news for the 49ers over the course of the past few days, but we'll keep you updated instead and give you some of those good spots to eat and drink up here in Napa and Sonoma. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed Brock Purdy at the silent disco and George, well, George Kittle rehabbing, but Fred Warner and Debo Samuel showing that they should not be playing quarterback for the 49ers. Off to Geyserville. That's the next stop. If you have any recommendations there, go ahead and uh, drop in the, in the comment section within the next 20 minutes, though, because we're going to be in Geyserville really soon. We'll talk to everybody in a bit.